Are you struggling to figure out how to stay afloat during a recession? You don't have to worry about the future of your local small business anymore. In this video, I'll show you how to recession-proof your local small business and lead it toward growth and success beyond your wildest dreams. Learn how to maximize resources, manage finances effectively, develop new strategies for growth, and best practices for marketing and sales during a recession so that you can reach all of your goals without struggling or doubting yourself right after this. The economy is dropping and it's hard to know what to do as a local small business owner. You're constantly putting out fires, trying to make ends meet and worrying about the future of your business. It can be difficult to stay afloat during an economic downturn, but you don't have to struggle or worry that success isn't possible. There are steps you can take right now that will help you recession-proof your local small business and lead it toward growth and success beyond your wildest dreams. In this video, I'll show you how to maximize resources, manage finances effectively, develop new strategies for growth and success in any market conditions, as well as best practices for marketing and sales during a recession so that you can reach all of your goals without struggling or doubting yourself. Let's get started. Hi, I'm Doug Barra, and I'm a small business owner just like you. I know times can be tough, especially when the economy is dropping, but I also know how to recession-proof my business, develop the ability to lead myself and my business to success, and stop constantly putting out fires. But I haven't always been successful. When I first started in business, I was struggling, worrying, and doubting that I could make it. I knew I wanted to reach my goals and succeed beyond my wildest dreams, but I didn't know how. That's why I'm here to tell you that it is possible. You can recession-proof your business, develop the ability to lead yourself and your business to success, and stop having to constantly put out fires. And you don't have to struggle, worry, or doubt that it's going to happen. You can achieve your dreams even when the economy is dropping. I'm living proof of that, but I didn't get to where I am today by myself. I had to learn how to weather the economic crisis and recession-proof my business. That's why I'm offering a free web class to help you do the same. In this web class, I'll share the three most dangerous pitfalls that small business owners face, especially when the economy is dropping and how to avoid them. You'll learn how to recession-proof your business, develop the ability to lead yourself and your business to success, and stop having to constantly put out fires. So if you want to prove to yourself that you can be successful, even when the economy is dropping, register for this free web class right now. All you have to do is click the link below to get started on your journey to achieving your dreams. The first thing I'm covering is how to recession-proof your business. When the economy takes a downturn, it can be hard to stay afloat. But if you make the right preparations now, you can make sure your business survives the recession. This means taking a look at your budget and making sure you're not overspending, as well as making sure you have enough cash reserves to tide you over if things get tough. You should also consider diversifying your income streams and looking for ways to reduce costs. When the economy takes a downturn, it's important to maximize the resources that you have. This means finding ways to be more efficient with your time and money, such as investing in automation technology or outsourcing certain tasks that you don't need to handle yourself. You should also focus on developing cost-saving strategies for marketing and sales, such as generating organic leads through influencer marketing or running targeted campaigns on social media platforms. Additionally, consider leveraging online resources such as webinars and virtual events to reach new customers without having to spend large amounts of money on traditional advertising. When the economy is dropping, it's important to focus on being smart with your money and not spending more than necessary. In addition to making sure your business is recession-proof, you will also need to develop the ability to, re to lead yourself and your business to success. This means having a clear vision for the future, setting goals, and having an action plan to achieve them. It also means making sure you stay focused and motivated so that you can stay on track and achieve your goals. 
The key to leading yourself and your business to success is having a plan and staying organized. Make sure you break down your goals into actionable steps. Set deadlines for when you'll complete each step and track your progress in order to stay on track. Additionally, make sure you have systems in place so that you don't forget about tasks or miss important deadlines. Utilize project management software or task tracking tools to help you with the organization and tracking of the projects. Setting up regular meetings with your team can also help ensure that everyone is on the same page and accountable for their work. Finally, make sure to take time away from work in order to re-energize and stay creative. This could mean attending events related to your industry or taking a vacation. Whatever helps you stay motivated and inspired. Having an organized plan can help you achieve success despite economic downturns, as it allows you to focus on the big picture instead of getting caught up in the day-to-day minutia. When it comes to staying on top of your business, maximizing resources is key. To ensure that you're making the most of your resources and capitalizing on every opportunity, there are a few steps you should take. First, make sure to review your budget regularly and make adjustments as needed. This means cutting back on spending when necessary while still investing in areas that can help grow the business. Additionally, look for ways to reduce costs by leveraging online tools such as automation or outsourcing certain tasks. Next, develop cost-saving strategies for marketing and sales. This could include leveraging influencer marketing or running targeted campaigns on social media platforms to generate organic leads without spending large amounts of money on traditional advertising. Additionally, consider utilizing online resources such as webinars or virtual events to reach new customers without having to invest in expensive marketing materials or travel expenses. Next, spend time researching and developing new revenue streams that you can tap into during downturns or times of economic uncertainty. This can include anything from offering online services to selling products through an e-commerce platform. You may even want to look into partnering with other local small businesses in order to share resources and capitalize on each other's expertise. Next, create systems and processes for tracking your finances so that you always know where your money is going and how it's being used in business operations. This will help you stay organized and have visibility into where your resources are being used most effectively, enabling you to make smarter decisions about where to allocate funds for maximum impact. By taking these steps now, you can maximize your resources so that you have enough capital available during economic downturns or market uncertainty, ensuring that your business remains resilient no matter what happens next. You also need to manage your finances and ensure you're always in the black to have a recession-proof business. When it comes to managing your finances and making sure you're always in the black, there are a few key tips to follow. First, it's important to create a budget and stick to it, while still allowing yourself room for growth and flexibility. This means setting up systems to track your income and expenses so you can identify where money is being spent and whether or not you should be cutting back on certain expenses. Additionally, develop strategies for saving money whenever possible. This could include anything from negotiating better rates with suppliers or vendors, consolidating debt, or taking advantage of discounts available through loyalty programs. Another important tip is to ensure that you have enough cash reserves in case of an emergency. This means setting aside funds for unexpected events such as extended business outages or costly repairs. You should also set aside some funds for investing in new projects or any other opportunities that may arise over time. Additionally, consider diversifying your income stream so that if one source of revenue drops unexpectedly, you still have other sources of income to rely on. Finally, make sure to stay on top of tax deadlines and filing requirements in order to avoid penalties or fees due to late payments or missed deadlines. It's also wise to consult with an accountant if you need help navigating the ever-changing landscape of taxes and regulations related to your business operations. 
By following these tips and staying organized with your finances, you can maximize the resources at your disposal while ensuring that your business remains profitable in the economic climate. In order to recession-proof your business, you need to focus on long-term strategies that can help you remain resilient during downturns. To develop new strategies for growth and success, it's important to think beyond just the current market conditions. Here are some tips for developing new strategies for growth and success. First, invest in yourself and your team. Make sure that you have the necessary knowledge and skills to effectively lead your team in business operations. Considering offering professional development opportunities or workshops to ensure that everyone is constantly learning and growing with the business. Additionally, investing in technology can help streamline processes and operations, freeing up time for more strategic pro projects. Next, take a data-driven approach to decision-making. Utilize analytics tools such as customer feedback surveys or demographic research in order to gain a better understanding of your target audience and their needs, wants, so that you can create products or services tailored specifically for them. Additionally, use A-B testing when launching new products or campaigns so that you can quickly identify which approaches are most successful in achieving desired outcomes without wasting resources on unsuccessful campaigns or ideas. Next, develop creative solutions for problems facing your business. When faced with an issue, try approaching it from different angles to come up with innovative solutions that will help move the needle in terms of growth and success, even during downturns. Consider utilizing technologies such as AI-driven chatbots or automation processes in order to reduce manual labor costs while still providing customers with a great experience. Next, prioritize customer relationships over sales goals. This means focusing on creating a personalized experience for each customer, rather than just trying to make a sale at any cost. This could include providing personalized content, updates based on their interests or needs, or offering discounts on their favorite products or services from time to time as an incentive for staying loyal customers. Additionally, investing in customer service initiatives such as creating online communities where customers can get answers quickly or utilizing social media platforms to engage directly with customers can go a long way when it comes to building loyalty and trust amongst customers. By taking these steps now, you'll be able to develop new strategies for growth and success even when there's economic uncertainty, ensuring that your local small business remains resilient no matter what happens next. It's critical to adjust your marketing and sales practices in order to remain resilient in the face of economic uncertainty. One key point is to shift your focus from short-term conversion strategies, which may be less effective during an, an economic downturn, to long-term relationship building. This means creating content that provides value for customers or potential customers and building relationships with them over time, which in turn can lead to future sales down the line. Additionally, consider using more cost-effective channels such as social media platforms or email marketing when reaching out to customers. Not only are these methods more affordable than traditional advertising methods, but they also allow you to target specific segments of customers with tailored messages, which can help increase ROI and engagement levels. Additionally, use data-driven insights obtained from analytics tools such as A-B testing or customer feedback surveys in order to really hone in on what types of campaigns are most successful among your target audience so that you can maximize efficiency and conversions. In addition, focus on strengthening customer relationships by offering promotions or discounts for staying lo loyal customers over time. This could include anything from discounts on their favorite products or services or free online resources that provide value for them. For example, tutorials on how to use certain features. Additionally, consider investing in customer service initiatives, such as creating online communities where questions can be answered quickly or utilizing social media platforms to engage directly with customers, as this can go a long way when it comes to building trust and loyalty among customers. Finally, make sure that you stay up to date with industry trends 
that you are aware of any changes occurring within your market segment. This enables you to adapt quickly and create campaigns that speak directly to the needs of your audience without wasting resources on ineffective strategies. Additionally, developing relationships with other local small businesses and offering cross promotions can help build brand recognition while also helping both parties reach new audiences at a lower cost than traditional advertising methods. By taking these steps now, you'll be able to maximize your resources while ensuring that your business remains resilient no matter what happens next. Finally, you need to stop having to constantly put out fires. This means being proactive and addressing problems before they arise. It also means delegating tasks and taking the time to plan so that you're not constantly running around trying to solve issues. That's why it's so important for you to attend our free web class to help you discover the three most dangerous pitfalls that small business owners like you face that keep you overwhelmed putting out fires and chained to your business and how to avoid them. You'll learn how to recession-proof your business, develop the ability to lead yourself and your business to success and stop having to constantly put out fires. So if you want to prove to yourself that you can be successful, even when the economy is dropping, register for this free web class right now. All you have to do is click the link below to get started on your journey to achieving your dreams. Commenting on this video is a great way for viewers to connect with others who have experienced similar challenges when trying to succeed during economic downturns. Sharing your experiences, both good and bad, can help other viewers understand the different strategies and approaches that worked or didn't work for you. In addition to hearing feedback from individuals in similar situations, commenting also allows people to provide support or advice to each other when it comes to tackling issues related to small business success. By providing your insights on what has worked for you and what hasn't, Viewers can learn from you your successes and failures as they develop their own plans of action for achieving success during times of economic uncertainty. Would you like to learn more about building a recession-proof business or other topics regarding business success? Yes? Great. Then there are a few things that you need to do right now. First, please like this video so I know you got value and I'll make more videos like this one. Second, subscribe to this channel and click the bell to get notified whenever we post a new video so that you don't miss a single piece of the valuable information we share. I'm Doug Barr. I believe it takes great courage to own a local small business. For the last 16 years, I've ensured that business owners like yourself get the time, money, and freedom you deserve. Be sure to click the link in the description below to learn more. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the web class.